Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Elise. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And if you are not new, then welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Amazon's recently released, I don't want to say it's brand new new because I don't know if it's like that that new, but I know it's at least been under a year, at least I want to say that, for this brand to come out. And it is Amazon's new private label brand called Salimo or Salimo. I've seen that they've launched quite a few things, but in particular for this video, I'm testing out some of their skin care products from the Salomo brand from Amazon. So anyways you guys, if you are interested in seeing if these products are actually worth it or not, then of course please keep watching. So the layout for this video is going to be a little bit different because this is not going to be like my traditional pick or passes where it's all pretty much done within one specific day. I actually purchased these products back in December so I've been testing them out and behind the scenes kind of showing you guys what I really think about the product. Today is actually January 10th and I started testing out these products in December 14th so it's basically been about a month of me actually trying out these products. With skincare it's really Really, really tricky because obviously you're not able to tell immediate results from a product if you just use it for a couple of days that is why I wanted to really test this out over the course of some time and kick it back to my first clip when I first tried out the products so that you guys can see my initial first impression so guys from the line I picked up three different products that I am gonna be talking about so the first one that I have here is the Salimo eye makeup remover it says here that it even removes waterproof mascara and I will also be testing out the Salimo daily facial cleanser. The first one that I picked up was the Salimo ultra moisturizing skin cream. I'll be using this as a daily moisturizer just to see if I like it. So the first thing that I want to try out is going to be the eye makeup remover. I'm extremely intrigued by these more so because of the price. Like all of these products are well under $10 which is amazing. So I'm going to start off with the Salimo eye makeup remover. feels really oily which isn't horrible you just have to make sure that you have a good cleanser to really remove all those oils I'm gonna go into my bathroom and just test out the cleanser and see how I like this hopefully it does a really good job at removing this oil my skin definitely feels a little bit oily but it's not as greasy as it looked when I initially took off the makeup remover. Wait, my bathroom is tiny so I can't really angle myself in a position where I can like show you guys me in the sink like doing my thing right now. Between my ring lights, my camera, my tripod, it's a little bit too much for my bathroom right now. My bathroom's like, you gotta get out girl, this is too much. Yeah, this is the consistency of the face wash so it's definitely very runny. that this is for normal to oily skin and I do have oilier type of skin it does feel like legit squeaky clean okay guys so now I'm back in the studio I definitely feel like I could use a little bit of moisturizer so to finish this off we are going in with the Salimos moisturizing skin cream okay what is this oh oh my god this looks weird guys okay honestly I don't know how I feel about even putting this on my face texture of this looks really strange it almost looks spongy like a spongy cream and it it makes noises you hear that like I like I could make dents in it what is this this doesn't look right I have to test it out for you guys so I mean let's see if I could use this it doesn't have a fragrance what is up with this I really don't like the texture of it. Let's see how that sets into my skin. Yeah, more to come. I guess we'll have to see what this does. Hey you guys, so I'm back with another update for you guys. Today is actually Saturday, December 28th. It has been exactly two weeks since the last time I spoke to you guys regarding these Amazon products. I just did a video right now and I'm getting ready to wash my face, but this time I'm not gonna use the eye makeup remover which by the way is oil free to my surprise. I thought this had oil in it because it really feels extremely oily but this is actually an oil free eye makeup remover. So I'm gonna go straight into the daily facial cleanser today and I'm going to see if this 
actually does a good job at removing my makeup without this. It's going to be interesting. I really don't think that this on its own would be able to take all this makeup off. I'm going to give this a shot. If things get too difficult, then I'm going to go in with this to help it out. With my skin, now that I've fully cleansed it and I've taken off all of the makeup, I will say that on its own, the cleanser is not powerful enough to really rip through and break down all the makeup. So you do need to go in with the eye makeup remover first to then take off the makeup with the cleanser to take off all the residue. My face does feel pretty clean right now. I am gonna let you guys know right now, I don't like this moisturizer. I actually feel like it made my skin feel super duper greasy in the morning. I don't know what was up with that. I don't like it. I don't like anything about it. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna continue to test this because it just doesn't feel right. I don't feel like it's done anything. I feel like every time I wear it, my skin kind of looks greasy the next day. And that is it for this update today. I will update you guys in another week or so, and then we will wrap up this video. So now I'm gonna share my final thoughts on the three products that I have here, and I'm gonna let you guys know whether or not I would continue to use them. I've been exclusively using this skincare, so any reaction that I've gotten on my face, anything different going on with my skin, I attribute it 100% to these products because they're the only thing that have changed in my routine these past four weeks. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Salomo Daily Facial Cleanser. You guys were able to see the first time that I used this. I actually thought it was pretty good. I thought it left my skin pretty clean, but the more that I've continued to use this, I'm pretty much about like I want to say I'm right here with it so I'm gonna give you guys some of the specs which I did write down here on my phone this claims to be a facial cleanser for normal to oily skin it's compared to the Cetaphil facial cleanser this is actually $2.99 which is a steal this is literally under three dollars which is insane compared to the Cetaphil one which is literally triple that <laughs> another thing that I liked about this the packaging considering that this is under three dollars I really appreciate the fact that you get a pump and the packaging is pretty sturdy pretty solid this in my bathroom near my tub the whole time it fell about a couple thousand times my cat is prone to getting in the bathroom and making a disaster out of everything and dropping all of my shampoos and everything all over the floor I constantly had to pick this up many times not once did it break so now I'm gonna kick it into the cons about this I can't help but smell it because it does have a very interesting scent and I will say it's almost a very strong scent it's unique though it's almost citrusy but almost medicinal at the same time. It smells a little bit like medicine and lemons at the same time. I don't exactly know how to explain this scent. It's not anything that I care for, but it's also not something that I absolutely hate. I don't fully like that, but I will say for it to have such a strong scent, it surprises me that it doesn't irritate my skin because something this strong smelling, I feel like would irritate skin. If you have oily skin or oilier combination skin like myself, I'm oily combo. This, I just feel like really emphasized my oils. I feel like during the time that I've been using this, my oils have been out of control and it is winter usually in the winter I experience more like combination normal skin not so much oily skin but I feel like in the time I've been using this really by like 10 o'clock in the morning I'm having to use like blotting sheets because I feel like this is just not doing a good job at controlling my oils now I will say it doesn't say anything about it controlling oils however if you have oily combination skin or oily skin I don't feel like this is going to do anything for your oils but one thing that I will say that I've really noticed about this is I feel like it just cleans the surface of your skin I don't know if that makes sense I don't feel like it fully gives you a really good deep clean I feel like for this product to work and really fully deep clean your face and take off pounds and pounds of makeup you'd have to go in with some sort of makeup remover beforehand because on its own this product just isn't strong enough to really fully remove every ounce of makeup that you have on your face if you're somebody who normally wears a lot of makeup I would literally need to use about 70,000 pumps of this for it to even remove half of my makeup like I just this is this would never remove that much makeup I feel like because this doesn't fully remove every ounce of makeup and because this doesn't really deeply penetrate into your skin and really give you a good cleanse I feel like this has really caused my skin to just go crazy i'm gonna insert some clips and some photos here for you guys but i've been experiencing horrible cystic acne i've been breaking out like a mad woman my skin does not like this cleanser i have to do some serious damage control because my skin is so pissed with me in a nutshell what i repurchase this is this a pick or a pass i'm gonna say pass okay, so the next one that i want to talk about is the solomo eye makeup remover it's it says here that this is dermatologist tested and it's oil free, removes stubborn makeup, even waterproof mascara. If you can't already tell by the packaging, this is comparable to the Neutrogena eye makeup remover. I mean, you can tell, look at the packaging, the color, everything about this just screams Neutrogena eye makeup remover. 
So I'm gonna start with the pros here. This is 5.5 fluid ounces and it goes for $3.99, which is an amazing price. So with that being said, one of the first pros is it's such a good price. It's affordable compared to the Neutrogena one, which I think is five to seven dollars. One thing I do like about this is it really does remove waterproof mascara. I have a Clinique mascara that I've been loving. However, that stuff, it takes an apocalypse to remove it. This does a great job at really breaking that mascara down and removing it. It is good for sensitive eyes because I literally have rubbed this like all up in my eye just like that and I haven't experienced any irritation or any sensitivity in my eyes. Out of the three products that I have to share with you guys today, this is probably my favorite one and it's the one that I'm more likely to reach for out of the three that I have. Now for the cons, I will say that I don't love the packaging. I don't love the fact that when you open it, there's no... I forgot the word, but there's nothing here to kind of stop it from fully all spilling out. Even though this does say that it is oil-free, I don't know how true that is because this feels like the most oily thing ever. So I don't know exactly how true that oil-free claim is, but this does feel really, really greasy. Mainly because of the fact that I don't like how greasy this feels. And I don't know if this has been also contributing to my horrible skin and my breakouts as of lately. So because of that, I'm going to stop using this product as well. I'm going to say pass on this one as well. Alright guys, and the last one that I want to talk to you guys about is the Solomo Ultra Moisturizing Skin Cream. Now this one is to be compared with the Cetaphil Moisturizing Skin Cream. Now this one goes for $6.99, so just under $7. And the Cetaphil one goes from $16 to $20. Anywhere in that price range, again, it depends where you're getting it from now for pros with this one i will say i like the fact that it brings 16 ounces of product that's really really generous and for it to only be seven dollars i mean that's crazy when it comes to moisturizers i don't care for anything with fragrances in it i just feel like why 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 do you need fragrances in your moisturizer so i really do like the fact that this really truly is fragrance free now for cons everything else i hate this product you guys i do not like this i'm gonna be honest with you guys in the four weeks that i've been testing these products out i've only been able to wear this twice because the texture of this product really skeeves me out and really makes me feel very uneasy i don't know what i'm putting on my face and i have a big issue with that this texture i really wish you guys could reach your hand through the freaking screen and touch it because this is almost like the weirdest jello pudding lumpy like texture i don't know it's nothing that a moisturizer should be a moisturizer should feel creamy it should feel smooth this feels lumpy it almost feels hard you touch it and it like bounces back at you it feels like cottage cheese i it, it looks it looks lumpy something about this is all the way wrong it almost makes me feel like i'm applying a product that's like expired on my face i do not like the consistency i could not get past it and i'm sorry you guys my skin's already bad enough. really wish they would improve the texture of this because it, even though it might be a great product, I can't get past the way it looks. And I will say the two times that I did use it, it felt very greasy. It didn't feel nourishing like a cream, a moisturizer should feel. I saw some people use it as a hand cream, as a foot cream. I don't even know if I'll use it as that. I don't know you guys, I, I just can't get past the way this feels. In general, in a nutshell, my general consensus on the Salomo skincare products from Amazon is they are going to be passes for me. I didn't like the products, I feel like they didn't work for me. I'm not saying this to be salty at all, I love Amazon. When I tell you guys I purchase from Amazon way more than I should, but honestly, I do, I'm obsessed with Amazon. I really, really thought these skincare products that I tested out were big misses for me. I just feel like they did a huge disservice to my skin and I mean the proof is in the pudding you guys see the results my skin is not happy with me right now I do not like these products and I just can't recommend them to you guys anyways you guys I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and of course before you leave don't forget to subscribe to the channel I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family and of course don't forget to hit the little notification bell because that is gonna let you know every single time I'm uploading a video so that you never miss a beat thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye